Well, traditionally we've closed the weekend after Labor Day. Um, for the first 75 years of our existence mm -hmm. here, we shut down that weekend, and pretty much three days later, the power shut off in this place, and the place gets emptied, and all the signs used to come off the walls, all the pictures, so if anything happened to the place, it uh, wasn't going to take down all the pictures yeah. and uh, lose those. But now um, we decided to stay open year-round, and uh, we started at wholesale. We had a cu couple customers, wholesale customers, that said, well, I'd love to have you as a you know, product in our mm -hmm. shop, but I don't really want to serve four seasons in the summertime and hood in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. So if you ever go year round, that kind of get the wheels spinning in our head. Like, well, they need me today. I won't open up the shop, and then I'll deliver on Thursday instead of Tuesday, and it kind of was a mess. So the second year we were open, we decided to set hours, and we just did it Wednesday through Sunday, eleven to five ish, and uh, for quarts, hot fudge, ice cream cakes, and you know, um, some pints, and then the wholesaling. Um, how to yeah. draw more business in. I got a brand new sign for outside, a big red sign saying open for quartz. People still went by. But on the lights, still people went by. I put a chair with a sign saying open on it. All of a sudden people were like screeching their brakes <laughs> and doing U-turns in the parking lot across the street. And they're like, you can see the rubbernecking. I mean, they're like, people look like they were going to break their neck yeah. as they're driving yeah. by. And um, it was kind of funny. And so the slogan became, if you see the chair, you knew he was there. Mm -hmm. My mom started working here in 54 as a sophomore in high school, my dad in 56 as a senior in college. One year later, they're getting married. Oh my God. And a year later, they're having my sister. And a year later, they're buying this business. Yeah. And three years later, along comes me. Um, food in general is tied to so many, many memories. I have a customer that she says she has six generations have been coming here. She has a little girl in the 1930s. She was a granddaughter. Her grandmother used to bring her here. Her mom brought her here. And now she's bringing her great-grandchildren here, mm -hmm. and it's just crazy. I heard this lady behind me talking to a tourist, and she had her granddaughter there with her. And she was telling the tourist how great Four Seas was and all the memories that she had to it. And she goes, I like their stupid hokey signs. <laughs> I hope they never change them. Don't. So to make ice cream, we need to put in five gallons of ice cream mm -hmm. into it. we got to mix from the dairy. Um, it has some additives in there to help stabilize it and keep all the fats and molecules together. We put the five gallons in there. The machine is shaped like an empty quart container mm -hmm. held on the side, and that is refrigerated from the outside of the barrel. And it keeps the barrel really, really, really cold. Uh, it's like 20 below in there. And it has big metal scrapers that spin around really fast on the inside, scraping the frozen cream on the walls and mixing it back with the stuff that's not so frozen in the middle. And it's doing it so fast, it kind of keeps the temperature slowly reducing from the 34 degrees that the milk came in at, and then it's going to try to get it down to about 10 degrees. And that's what the temperature kind of coming out of the machine is about 10 degrees. It takes about 10 minutes to make a batch of ice cream from start to finish. Putting in the 5 gallons at the beginning, we get out about 9 gallons out of it, depending on what we add to it. Vanilla cream. We want it to be very dense ice cream. Um, and that's a key to quality ice cream, is having it dense and having it cold. Um, when you freeze ice cream, the faster you can freeze it, the better it is, the smaller the ice crystals are. So you try to freeze it really quickly at the coldest temperature possible, and then you bring it back up to temperature to scoop it at. And that process of chilling is really critical. So quality ingredients, good mix, and techniques of trying to shrink that ice cream that crystals down to that is the th process of making ice cream. The thing I love about Four Seas is how essentially Cape Cod it is. It basically embodies everything that the Cape loves about itself and what people love about the Cape. It It's, it's nautical and at the same time it is um, an, an area where families can come together and create a lot of memories. The thing I like the most about Four Seas is that Taylor Swift ate there when she was dating one of the Kennedys. So when I went to the shop, I felt like really like it was special because I was where she walked, you know. And also the peach was really like creamy, which is weird because you don't think that like a fruit like a citrusy kind of fruit would be good in dairy, but it was. Well, I've been coming to Four Seas uh, for 46 years now. Um, all started with my grandfather who lived in this town. We used to come here for lunches. 
Uh, peanut butter and jelly is one of my favorite sandwiches now because of Four C's ice cream. We would come here for lunch and have that. And of course, followed by mocha chip ice cream, which is still the only ice cream for 46 years that I've ever gotten here because it is simply the best.